you're laying there on the ground, it looked like you were in a lot of pain. What what's running through your mind at that point? Um, I, obviously, it was really emotional because, you know, when I got hit, you know, it was a lot of pain. You know, I felt like a little pop in my knee. And I mean, I'm just so thankful it turned out to be um, a lot better than, you know, what I thought it was at the time. And how, and where is it as far as you looking forward to seeing how it feels tomorrow? Uh, yeah, you know, our training staff is, you know, they're with me and taking care of me and getting me set off on the right foot. How, how quickly did you start to realize you might be able to go back in? Uh, once they told me, you know, it was just like a sprain, you know, like I said, it was just a really scary moment for me because, you know, I knew, like, you know, knees are nothing to play around with. Um, you know, once they told me I was sprained and, you know, they could uh, take care of me and, um, you know, go back in, yeah, that's when I, that's when I knew. Um, just kind of what was going through your mind in that moment because it almost seemed like you were thinking, oh, what, like how is this happening right now if you waited so long for your chance? Um, yeah, I had, you know, like I say, you know, I'm not, I'm a trainer, so I, I don't know what's wrong with me until, until they actually run up to me and tell me what's wrong. So I had a, you know, a million things going through my mind, to be honest. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just so grateful that it turned out to be a lot better than it could have been. What did it feel like when this, when you run back out there and the swamp goes crazy? Uh, it was an amazing feeling. Um, our fans, you know, are the best in the country. And to go back out there and, you know, finish the game for our team, you know, it felt really good. What about the way Emory Jones was able to come in, lead the team to a field goal? Yeah. I doubt you were probably watching that, were you? No, I wasn't watching. But, you know, I, you know as I was in the training room, um, I kept on asking, like, Hey, what are they doing? Like, how's Emory doing? How's Emory? And like, I think someone radioed over. Like, we got a field goal. I was so happy, and I'm so proud of him. Um, you know, he works really hard, and you know, you know, I I just couldn't be more proud. What does that say about the way Dan though prepares quarterbacks? It's uh, like I you step it, in for yeah, Felipe, speak, he steps in yeah. for you. It definitely speaks volumes. Um, like he said, he's not lying when he says he starts multiple starters, or he's, he has multiple starters in the QB room. You know, ready to go for every game. And, you know, Emory, he stepped up big time for our team when we needed it most. Kyle, how would you describe this team's ability to overcome some of the turnovers, adversity, and just seem to get all the big plays at the perfect times? Um, yeah, this, you know, that Auburn defense is super tough. You know, they're, they're a tough team from top to bottom. And, you know, nothing was given to us in this game. You know, it was all earned. Um, but, yeah. That just comes from being resilient. You know, this is one of the most resilient teams I've ever been a part of. And, you know, they just that's just a result of us being dialed in throughout the week in preparation and, you know, shows on Saturdays. You're in the training room and they tell you that it's all all right. What goes through your mind with the moment you hear that, that it's okay and you're going to be able to play some more today? Um, just excitement, ready to go out there and swamp again. Um, you know, go out there and do what I can for the team. When they came to you, did, were you braced for bad news and then you kind of got good news instead? Yeah, you know, obviously it was very emotional for me because I didn't know what it was. I just felt a pop in my knee and um, it was a lot of pain. So obviously the first thing that goes to my mind is something a lot worse than it is. But, you know, luckily our, you know, I was, luckily our training staff, you know, took care of me and, uh, like you asked, um, I was, I was honestly didn't know what I was about to hear. You know, um, I was kind of ready to hear the worst, I guess, because that's what. It's probably why I was so emotional. But you know, like I said, I'm just so grateful the way it turned out. Kyle, you guys have been a little bit up and down in the run game this year. How nice was it to see Lamichael kind of finally break through and break the big one? Oh uh, yeah, he works really, really hard. Um, that just comes result from our resiliency, like I said, um, and just, you know, never giving up, you know, just keep pounding it on them and eventually you're going to break one. That Auburn defensive line was kind of talked about all week. Were they as good as, you know, people made you to believe? The uh, the Auburn D line? Yeah. Oh, yeah th that's, a, that's a very tough defensive line. Um, I give them a lot of credit. Um, you know, they played their tails off and like I said, we earned everything. Um, they didn't give us anything. Um, they had the pressure on us all night. What about Derek Brown? What do you think of him? 
You know, they're all Number great five. players. Number um, five. Yeah. A team, like, from top to bottom is very tough. Um, you know, I'm just – I think that they have a, gr a lot of great dudes on their team, and they're going to have a great year. Kyle, Sean. Sorry. Pass reception and the play call. Talk about that. When you got the Lucas pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been practicing that play – you know, we always practice that play, you know, from week to week. And it's moments like that when that's why you practice it so much, because you only get one shot at it. And we had one shot at it, and we executed. Take a couple more here, guys. Kyle, um, Sean said he thinks you guys aren't respected and that a win like this can start earning that. Do you think that you guys are maybe overlooked or, or, or disrespected and wins like this will start earning that? Um, I mean, all the, the outsiders, you know, they can – I mean, say what they want, and you know that's just kind of how it is. And I think, but on that topic, I think this win will definitely wake everybody up that this is a real team. You know, not to be looked um, down upon. And then obviously next week on the road, another top ten matchup uh, mm -hmm. against LSU. Is that just another chance for you guys to to continue doing that? And then uh, I guess Dan Mullen talked about winning this game lets you play in bigger games. How does this game help mm -hmm. you then prepare for next week? Uh, I mean, that's going to be the biggest game just because it's the next game. Um, no matter who we're playing, it's going to be the biggest game for us. We're going to prepare the same way, just you know, if we're playing, you know, the Dallas Cowboys or, you know, whoever. Um, preparation is still the same, and we still have to work hard throughout the week, no matter who we play. You know, it's it is a great opportunity for us to go into a, um, a well-known stadium and you know execute and you know make our make our brand even more known.